flush with cash in October 2001, just before the dot-com bubble burst, I went to an Audi dealer to buy an S4 Avon. Perhaps it was my Alistona t-shirt and camo shorts, but I couldn't get a salesperson to even look at me, let alone give me a test drive. I'd read a review in our sister publication Automobile, by none other than Jamie N. V. H. Kitman, stating not only that the new for the 2002 model year Subaru WRX was their automobile of the year, but also that the rough and ready, bug-eyed, rally-based bruiser had performance akin to a Porsche 911 4S. A boxer engine metaphor taken too far, perhaps, but the review got me thinking, and I took my tech boom dollars a few doors down to the Subaru dealer. An hour or so later I drove away in a black WRX wagon, base price $24,520, that was about 20 grand less than the Audi. Good thing, too, as I got mass laid off a month later and never would have been able to keep a near $50k S4. Life is a funny thing, as I just drove the $49.855-2018 Subaru WRX SDI Type Ra. The only question there can be is, is the Subi worth the money? What makes a Type Ra? First thing is exclusivity. Only 500 units are being built for the US market, and 75 are being sent to Canada. That's 575 total cars worldwide, as Canada and the US are the only countries getting any. You can tell which one you have by a numbered plaque above the shifter. They come in blue, white, and black, with black being the scarcest color. RA stands for record attempt, dating back to the original 1989 legacy RA that set a FIA world speed endurance record. For years Subaru has been releasing limited edition RA models, much to the sorrow of JDM fans around the world, only in Japan. The 10,000 foot view shows you that the RA gains 5 horsepower, loses a little weight, gains a little aero, and receives slight tweaks to the suspension. From up there I get that it's difficult to justify the $10,400 price bump over an SDI with keyless entry and recurro seats, $39,455. However, once you zoom in and get granular, you see where Subaru spent the money. The one single aspect that cynics and Subaru haters are lasering in on the hardest, see my Instagram feed, is the admittedly tiny bump in horsepower. American SDI fans first met the 2.5-liter turbocharged flat 4 engine code EJ257, in 2004, when it made 300 horsepower. In 2008 Subaru bumped it up to 305 horsepower, the same amount of power the AJ257 still makes today, 10 years later. Cobb or any other tuning company will sell you a kit to add 20 horsepower for a few hundred bucks. However, the way the Type Rom makes the extra power is impressive. First off, the ECU is retuned and there's a redesigned cold air intake. Standard stuff, sure. Subaru also throws in stronger pistons and sodium-filled exhaust valves, the latter of which is some pretty serious high-performance kit. Sodium-filled valves handle heat better, typically seen on higher-end performance cars. 